Hi, this is Don McAllister and welcome to another Screencasts Online weekly tip video. In this week's tip, I'm going to show you how to speed up access to your favourite contacts by adding them to the Today View on the iPhone. I'll also take a look at using low power mode and finish off with a tip for iPhones with 3D Touch. The Today View is a great place to have your most frequently accessed contacts because it's so accessible. Uh, for instance, from any screen on your iPhone, for instance here in the Notes application, just a single tap of the Home button and then swipe across will take you directly to the uh, Today View. So what we need to do is to add a Favourites widget in here. If I scroll down to the bottom, tap Edit. Uh, so there's no Contacts widget, but there is a Favourites widget. So I'll tap Favourites, I'll move that up to the top and we'll say done. Okay, so now we have this new widget, but no favorites at the moment. So I need to go ahead and actually um, assign the status of favorites to some of my contacts. I've actually got Siri app suggestions with contacts in. So I'll go directly into contacts and I'll just pick some of these sample contacts here. So Stephen Berry, I want to add Stephen as a favorite. So if I say add to favorites, now because Stephen's record has many different ways of communication, I've got iMessage, I've got uh, physical phone calls and mail, I can actually select one or more of the different types of contacts. So if I wanted to both message him, say on that particular phone number, that's now added to favorites, but also I wanted to be able to quickly send him a mail, I can go to mail and select his email account and he's now in my contacts list. So again, from any a screen on your iPhone, home key once, swipe across, and there are now two instances there of Stephen in my favorites, one which is to send him a message and one which is to send him a mail. Now you can actually have uh, many, many different favorites. It will show you the first four, but then if you have more than four, you can actually show more. So let me go back into contacts. And this time let's select somebody else, uh, say Darren Brummer. Again, I can add him as a favorite. And let's say just as a message this time, and we'll add two more. So Diana, again, add to favorites. Uh, we'll put Diana's phone number in, and perhaps one more. Let's go with um, Bradwell, add to favorites. And again, we'll call. Okay, so now a single tap of the home key, swipe across. Right, so there's my first four favorites. If I tap show more, I can see Bradwell down here as well. If I want to sort the order, so let's show less. If I want to move Diana to the beginning of the widget, uh, all I need to do is to go into the phone application. So phone is where you actually manage all of your favorites, whether it be uh, mail favorites or iMessage favorites, etc. But here are my favorites. Let's say I want to move Diana to the top. We'll say edit. I'll just move her up to the first position. And let's say I want to get rid of Bradwell. I can tap on here and delete. So he's now gone from my favorites. Haven't deleted his contact details, just removed him from my list of favorites. We'll say done. And again, single press on the home key, swipe across, and you'll see now Diana has jumped to the beginning of my favorites widget. So that's a really simple, easy way to speed up your interaction with your frequently accessed contacts by adding them to the Today View. In each iOS release, Apple has spent a lot of time optimizing your iPhone to save battery life in normal usage. But there are occasions when you might want to try and extend it just a little bit more. Now, for me, this is usually when I'm traveling, which always seems to coincide with me wanting to use the phone a lot more. Now, during these times, I actually manually switch to what's called low power mode. Now you can get to low power mode by going to settings and then within settings there is an option for battery and there we have low power mode up at the top. Now by default it's switched off. It will switch on automatically if your battery falls below 20% or at least it will prompt you to go into low power mode. Um, but if I'm actually going out on a day's travel and I want to get the optimum amount of battery out of my iPhone, I actually switch it on to low power mode. Uh, one thing to notice is that the icon now turns yellow. Now, some services are uh, impacted when you do go into low power mode, such as Mail Fetch, um, Hey, You Know Who, Background App Refresh, Automatic Downloads, and some visual effects are reduced or turned off. And actually, this screen will actually go blank in a second unless I do something. But I do find it really useful. Uh, stay in low power mode for the day. You'll get a few more hours out of your battery. And then when you want to come out of low power mode, again, it's just a matter of going in, going to Settings, Battery, 
and then switching it back off again. So just to finish off, a very quick tip about uh, downloading using a 3D Touch iPhone. So you can actually do several things using 3D Touch connected with uh, app downloads. If I go into the App Store, so I'm going to download GarageBand, which is a fairly hefty download. So let me go ahead and start that. And then if I go up here and search for Facebook, so there's Facebook, I download that as well. If I come out of here, now if I want to prioritize Facebook, I really want my Facebook fix, I can actually force press on the icon and I can say prioritize download. And then regardless of how many other applications are downloading concurrently, it will actually prioritize Facebook and enable me to get into that before all the others have actually started downloading. So very simple. Uh, also as well, if you 3D touch, you can actually cancel the download from here or you can pause the download and then resume it later on. If you want to learn more about using your Apple devices, there are over 700 full video tutorials available to Screencast Online members, covering all aspects of the Mac, iPhone, iPad, Apple Watch, and even the Apple TV. Now, all full members receive a new Apple-related video tutorial each and every week, as well as a free subscription to the Screencast Online monthly magazine, packed with videos and articles on getting the most out of your Apple devices. Now, you can get your free 14-day trial membership over at screencastsonline.com or check out some of the free content over on the SEO Showcase app on the iPad, iPhone and Apple TV. That's it for this week. I'll be back next week with another tip, so I'll speak to you then.